WWL-TV, the spirit of Louisiana. This is Louisiana's News Leader, Channel 4's Eyewitness News Night Watch. Too often, teenagers don't get a second chance when they get involved in street crimes. But one young man did as he felt his life slipping away. Now he's trying to help other young men while he tries to fulfill a lifelong dream of his own that could only happen in New Orleans. Medical reporter Meg Ferris shows us why. It was a dream since Benny Radcliffe was nine to be a Mardi Gras Indian. Now 43, he works daily beating his suit that must be finished before he can join. But a major detour. Even though he had a job, a loving, solid family, was raised in the church, in his late teens, he started fathering children and was sucked into the power of fast cash, selling illegal, deadly drugs. You didn't use the crack cocaine. I got more, I got home for making the money. At 22, everything changed. A robber posing as a buyer shot him four times. One pierced his neck and spinal cord. Now a quadriplegic, he lay dying as the gunman robbed him. A friend died. Benny, changed physically for life, was about to change spiritually. I was in this big bright light, and I, I could feel my, my, own, my spirit leaving my body. Like I was on my way out, and I remember asking God to give me another chance. In the light, brighter than the sun, his life flashed before him. I was gone. I seen everything I did from a little kid up until that moment. It was like watching TV. Everything I did from a little child to what happened in that happened in, in seconds, like watching the TV. And I can feel life leaving out of my body. I done crossed over. Today, Benny mentors young men, teaching them the brave walk away from conflict. I don't sugarcoat the situation. Do you think you're reaching them? If I reach one, I'm satisfied. If you reach one, that one gonna reach somebody else. It's gonna build a foundation of saving somebody's life. Benny lives with devoted first cousin, caretaker Anthony Badaw. Their home music studio has produced some successful recordings next to big name artists on Billboard's R&B and hip hop chart. They are prolific in their writing of poetry, lyrics and rap. Now talking about the power of love, the unthinkable pain humans can cause others, and their Christian faith. I'm on a mission to save souls. Benny takes full responsibility for his life in a wheelchair. It didn't make no sense for me to cry about it. I wasn't crying when I was selling the drugs. So I had to be a man to take what the cause I dealt to the table, what I brought to the table, what I put myself here. Then last June, Benny had a 2 a.m. vision. Mm -hmm. With the little arm movement that had come back, he envisioned Velcro, needle nose pliers, and straps to help him bead his Mardi Gras Indian suit. He recalled a song of the tribe that accepted him as a future member. I so, so, so. I can't sing a song, and I'm not sewing, I'm lying. I can't say, take the credit for something I'm not doing. That's not my character. His occupational therapy at Turo is now beating. We're actually opening up movement that was there but has been restricted from non-use. This will help keep up his strength, his posture, his range of motion, improve his, you know, personal sense of his well-being. He wants to be a role model. If I knew what I knew now, I would never sell drugs again because it's not worth what I have to go to. All, all the money in the world, it ain't worth being like this here. Because the things that used to be private is no longer private. He sees mothers never taught love, so can't teach it to their own. If you don't have nobody that's in your circle, teaching you really, teaching you right from wrong, or able to give you the structure of how to start a business, or how to be an entrepreneur, you're being set up to fail. He now surrounds himself with everything positive. Remember, all things are possible when on his word you stand. Meg Farris, Channel 4, Eyewitness News. And Benny now understands the heartache parents go through when they lose a child. He lost his oldest to street violence. Benny's goal is to have his Indian suit finished by 
Mardi Gras next year. And we look forward to seeing him in that.